Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be putting a few things on the 70 Chevy truck. A few simple things. Uh, we got some uh, some of the chrome trim rings for the for the wheels. I am ready to scratch my, my freshly painted rims now I guess. Uh, these are probably not wide enough. They were on a narrower rim that was on the truck uh, to begin with, I stole these off those rims that it had uh, when we got it. So probably not the right width, but they'll work for now. Also uh, picked up some of the uh, vent shade uh, vent visors. I'll I'll link I'll link uh, the the visors. I don't know if I can find the trim rings or not, but I'll link what I can, guys. Um, these are supposed to be pretty easy to go in. I guess they just slide in the channel, I think. Um, I haven't put a set on, so I don't know, but anyway, um, let's get this stuff on. Okay, so there's really nothing special about installing these trim rings on these uh, rally wheels. Uh, the only thing that you need to really do is there's a spot here for the valve stem. And you want to uh, you want to make sure you get that lined up. Other than that, they just snap on. You gotta watch this valve stem group because it moves all over the place on you. You'll think you have it and it'll move. And that's all there is to it really guys. <clears throat> like I said, this one ain't quite probably wide enough because this is a 15 by 8. I think it was on a 15 by 7 or 6 and a half, something like that. They'll work for now. Okay, so there they are. This gives a little pop to the steel painted wheels. They have um, they have all kinds of widths of these trims. Um, I've seen a real thick trim that goes all the way to the to the inside of the wheel almost. I think you can pretty much pretty much get whatever you want for these but yeah it's uh, kind of the finishing touch for the wheels there okay so I got the uh, vents here window vents and to install these, it's not that hard on these trucks. You gotta take your weather stripping out of the door. You gotta pull it out. And you gotta go into the corner and pull the corner out because it goes into the corner a little ways. Then you're gonna take um, your vent and you're gonna stick it up in there. Uh, one gripe I have about these is there's really no place for this front piece to go in anything anywhere. So it's kind of just floating there. Uh, so I don't I don't really like that. But then you take these clips. I'll give you a close-up shot of those. Uh, 
and this clip uh, goes up in there and these these little fangs right here these are what actually go over the stainless piece and kind of hold it in place take these clips and you push them up into the where the it's actually to do it's easier to do one push one up in there And then that'll kind of hold. You can get it to it'll hold the vent visor in there. Well, it worked on the other side. There it goes. You want to be careful uh, with this, especially if you got like really nice paint. The edges on this thing is really, really sharp. So be careful with your with your paint if you got nice paint. They're saying like like four of these on a side. Um, I'm actually putting in three. So once you get your once you get your clips on, you gotta push your you push your weather stripping back in there. It's easier said than done. Well the other side seemed like it went a lot easier. This side looks like it's not shaped right to me. You gotta pull this out. And it's in there. I mean, it's pretty. Feels pretty stout. Feels actually feels tighter than the other side. Okay, so I got it installed. This side is actually tighter than the other side, which is actually it's better. It doesn't. Um, well, I guess you can push on that. It's one thing I don't like is there's really no support. Uh, right here. Um, I don't know if that's going to flutter in the wind or not, but yeah, it was a lot tighter back here. Of course, it looks like it might be a little misshapen right there, but not too bad. You got to make sure you push your weather stripping back up in there all the way. Couple tools I used was a little screwdriver and then uh, this uh, cotter pin uh, tool. Uh, this has got a nice sharp edge when you need to kind of pull something out and then also putting the trim or the weather stripping back in, you use the round part to push it up in there and kind of go back and forth. Make sure it's uh, seated on, the, on both sides of the, of the door. So one other tip on installing these, they come marked which side they go on. You don't really need that. You should be able to fit these up there and tell which side is which. Um, but anyway, you're going to want to take that sticker off before you put these on there. I left this one on and it's like right in this corner here. It's hard to get it, uh, get it off. I just, 
you scrape it off and then use some lacquer thinner to to get all the the residue off it but yeah I'll do that before you install these so there it is installed kind of actually hard to see it with the lifted 4x4 uh, these would probably be awesome on a lowered uh, two-wheel drive or something you'd, you'd actually be able to see the stainless but I like them So I guess that's gonna do it for this one guys a um, Few more things on the truck a few more shiny things if I get uh, too many more shiny things on this truck I'm gonna have to gonna have to go after that paint and make it shiny, but Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see ya